Ever since I bought my first smart V-mount battery, you know, the type with the modern connections, I've been quite spoiled by the luxury of having a large source of on-demand power for my devices in my camera bag. But that's only really good if my camera is out of the bag and I'm using it. I wouldn't want to plug in my camera and charge it while it's rocking around in the bag. And that brings me to the age-old question, what is the best way to charge your camera batteries on the go? Hello everyone, welcome to Gear Dash, where I, Josh Diaz, a director of photography in Winnipeg, Manitoba, quickly review gear that has been sent to me by brands. And today we have the Lano Dual Battery Charger Case, and it makes a pretty compelling argument for why it should be in your camera bag. It's an all-in-one battery charger case design that is currently available for Sony, Canon, Nikon, and Fujifilm cameras. Let's talk about the design of the Lano, which its own manufacturers think is fabulous, or at least that's what they wrote in their product description. The front of the packaging is adorned with seagulls, uh, so I guess that's kind of fabulous. I don't know if I'd go that far, but I actually think it's pretty great, the charger case that is. It's a large rectangular, roughly camera-shaped size that fits neatly into most camera bags. It's made of a matte black soft-touch plastic, which makes it easy to handle. It's not as light as some aftermarket battery chargers, which I actually find reassuring. That weight is because there's an internal battery inside the device which holds enough power to charge your camera batteries. On the front of the device, there's a single button which, when pressed, activates the LED screen, showing you how much power you have left in the bank and the charge level of any batteries you have inside, which is represented by four bars. On the side of the case, there are two USB-C ports, both labeled in and out. I assume the idea is that you can plug the case into a USB-C charger charge the batteries inside, and then run a USB-C cable out of the charging case to a device like a phone and charge it as a pass-through. I'm going to go ahead and assume you can't charge the device from both ports at the same time, although there was nothing in the manual to indicate as such. However, I do know that you can use the battery charger case to charge two external devices, feeding power outside of the case with two USB-C cables at the same time, which is great for a general battery bank. On the top of the case, there's an entry slot for two camera batteries. I chose the model that accepts Sony camera batteries because I have a Sony camera. One complaint that I have is that when you insert the batteries into the case, there is no locking mechanism that holds the batteries in place while the lid is open, so they kind of just bounce up and down on the spring inside. You're meant to push the batteries down with the lid and then lock them in place, which works, but it's really not elegant. When you put a battery into the Lano charging case, it does not immediately start charging. It checks the battery to make sure that they're working as intended. To begin charging the batteries, you need to press the button on the front, and you can also stop the case from charging your batteries with a long press of the button. When the case is plugged into power, however, the batteries begin charging automatically, and when the battery on the inside of the case is charged, then the case itself starts charging. So, how does it perform? Well, not too bad, I guess. I tested it against the stock charger that came included in the box with the Sony FX3 camera. This charger does one battery at a time and it plugs directly into a wall outlet. On my standard Sony charger, a single Sony MPFC 100 battery took 82 minutes to charge, which I think is pretty fast given the power that they hold. That's honestly quicker than I think I could expend the energy of the battery in most shooting conditions. One thing I will note is that the battery was physically warm to the touch when I removed it from the charger. Moving to the Lano charging case, that took 185 minutes to charge one battery using the included battery reserve inside the case, which I think is at least respectable. The battery was cool to the touch when I removed it. When I plugged the case into a power source, that number improved to 126 minutes. But if you're near a power source, you're probably going to have a charger with you anyhow. Now here's the bit I don't quite understand, and maybe somebody better versed in battery terminology can chime in in the comments. Lano says that the case has an advertised milliamp hour battery life of 12,400, and Sony MPFZ100 batteries have approximately a 2,300 milliamp hour battery life. So I assumed that you would be able to charge a single battery four to five times on a single case charge given how many times 2300 goes into approximately 12,000. But that wasn't true for me at all. 
After a full charge of a single Sony battery, the case was near 50%, which means I would only expect two charges out of this case on its internal battery. So, would I recommend buying the Lano battery charger case? Well, if you want to charge multiple batteries at a time, it could be a good option. You could charge them in the case and then grab the case on the go. You would also be able to top up your batteries, albeit slowly, while on the road, which is a luxury that most out-of-the-box chargers do not offer. It's not going to blow you away, but for around $100 USD, it might be what you're looking for. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.